a pencil has to be just right. Never too sharp, never too dull. If it's too sharp, it might stab me and then I'll get lead poisoning and die. I, I watched a documentary about that once, about people getting all this lead poisoning and going crazy and stuff like that. Ow! Too sharp. Anyway, Van Gogh, he had so much lead that he actually went so crazy he cut his own ear off. That's from Shakespeare or something like that. Anyway, let's try and be a little bit dull. Dull has its merits. You can't get hurt. People don't expect so much from you. You do the job, but never for too long, you know? Dull it is. Now we're ready. I oh, know. I know. You've been nagging me like a million times. I will address it to Mr. God, okay? I know. I'm just taking my time. I don't want to rush this. This is an important letter, all right? Dear God, I seem to have found something that's yours. A few nights ago, I was in bed and I was sleeping, I think, and then she was there. She was at my bedside, all white and glowing, rocking in my grand's old chair. I couldn't really look at her though. She was all bright like the sun, giving me those spots on my eyes, you know, the ones that like you have to blink to get rid of. I must say I was a bit scared. I, I threw the covers over my head and everything. When I looked again, she was still there. I couldn't believe it. I said, you're hurting my eyes. Kind of a silly thing to say, really. Why didn't I say, are you a ghost? Or something a bit more clever? She said she was sorry and vanished. I was worried I'd licked a few too many pencils and I was gonna cut off my ear, but then, then I heard her voice. She told me how she'd fallen and she couldn't get back home. Her wings were broken and she couldn't fly. Are you an angel? I asked her. She said she was. I told her she could stay, you know. Don't have many people here. Just mum. I thought she could hang out with me and stuff, you know. And she said, yeah, but now mum, mum wants her to go away. She said it's not good for me to be talking to her. I thought mum liked angels, but I guess not. Anyway, can you send a car round or a winged chariot or something to pick her up? She's ready to come home now. Sincerely, Billy Graham. I wonder if God will know which Billy Graham is writing him. This will certainly get his attention, that's for sure. Does God have like a PO box or something? How do I send this? Is it like Santa Claus, you know, Santa, North Pole, God, Heaven? What? Burn it? Why? Will that work? Alright. If you say so. <sighs> Mum hides the matches, but I know where they are. We could always, you know, put it in here when I'm done. It's nice, isn't it? I've got this from Motel 6, yeah? Every time that Grandpa used to take me somewhere, I'd get one. No, no. They're free. Motels give you lots of free things, you know? Like pens, notepads, towels. Grandpa liked them all, really, you know? He said he was just, you know, getting his money's worth and it was only fair, really.